I was searching for a place to have my exhibition. I needed an old church, something with atmosphere. And Dayton Wood very kindly advised me that maybe St. Michael's and All Angels, which was down on Victoria Avenue, had lots of space and a very small congregation because of the COVID. And so I duly arranged and went to visit. And the shortest story is when I was there, I looked over the fence and saw this magnificent building. And I asked them to let me over there, which they did. And I stepped into the hall, it was filled with garbage. And I fell in love with it. I knew I was home, that that was the space I needed for my exhibition. And that was in October of last year, and here we are today. It, it took a lot of work to, to what did you guys have to do? To, it took a lot of preparation. We had to make special uh, trolleys with wheels to wheel my work. We had to make extra ones because we had so much work moving. So it was a lot of planning, and but we, we took our time. We had from October of last year, right round to uh, the 1st of March. We, you know, in March, we, we started to, let's see, in Mar end of March, we started to move the work in here. What did yes. you like most about the building? The height, the colors, the bricks. Every, I love everything about it. The design. What was the most difficult challenge you encountered? I feel like there were no challenges because we just we just were going to do it and we just tackled each problem slowly and we had time to work it out. And I had a fantastic team. I have a young man working with me. His name is Kemar. He's been working with me for 16 years. So he 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 understands that if i had my phone i would look up the word but he he there's a certain word that you use for somebody who has strategy about space kimar knows how to keep us safe how to keep the work safe and he, he it's intuitive in him and he has uh, developed this in the 16 years of working with me because he's had to move a lot of big heavy work because you see the sculptures, they're whittled. Before they're whittled, they're, they're huge. And we have a lot of bark and sap and to take off. So Was he key to designing how the space would end up today? No, I, I, designed, yeah. I designed the space, basically. Did um, you do it on paper? Yes, I did it on paper. Um, and I had some help from my brother. He came and reorganized a few things. And, Tamara Scott Williams has been amazing. She also has, um, you know, helped. Me, you know, bye bye. Ciao. All the children Fantastic. You know, when you're working as a team, because it's it's this is a lot of team effort. Um, you know, things that I hadn't figured out. You know, she, that piece doesn't look right there. You know and three-footed lectern. We moved it from one end of the hall to the other. Things like that, you know, I planned it a little differently and new eyes are helpful in sorting out all sorts of wonderful little details. I, are you happy with what happened today? I'm very happy with what happened today. I'm thrilled. And we didn't have rain, which was lovely, though rain is always a blessing. And, um, and then the whole community of Ormsby Hall, uh, Mr. Roach, he is the caretaker, the, one, the man who brought me to the building in the first place. He has been impeccable. He has guided me who to ask for help. He has invited young men to come and work with us because we had a team of young men, as you can see, some of them are right there beside us. Mm -hmm. um, and we... <laughs> they helped to clear, they make the yard beautiful. And, um, and lots of things helped to carry in the sculpture because we would wheel it into a point but then they had to lift mm -hmm. you know and there must have been 20 
or more people at one point to get that fella onto the stage. Hilangali Raido to get it up onto the stage. That was the, perhaps the hardest, most difficult one to move. So. And what do you expect next with the show? With the show? Well, we're going to be um, here for a minimum of six weeks, God willing. Uh, maybe longer. I'd like to be still open when the BNL happens, as long as I can sustain it and people are interested. Um, we are going to have on Wednesday we have an art class. On Thursday we have Nine Night Singers, Melda Darling and the St. Anne Senior Citizens coming to sing at 12 o'clock. And then we have Andrea Dempster Chung giving a chat about downtown and you know she of course she leads the whole Kingston Creative Charge. So she will be here. So we anyone is welcome to come on Thursday at midday for that. On Friday at about 11.30 we have a Karen Carter and her group of about 20 to 25 people and they're going to have a, a talk here. Now exactly how it all works I'm not sure but... What's your favorite piece in the show? My favorite piece? I don't know. I, I guess what was surprising to me, I did the drawings in about five weeks, all the drawings that you see and they surprised me. They came, they came out of like nowhere kind of feeling. And, and, the, and the name of the show? So that was lovely. Um, the name of the show, Laboratory of, a tick, of the Ticking Heart, is a line from my grandmother's poem, Julia Rapinski. Uh, yes. <laughs>